Man, I haven't really made a commentary like this in a while. This is just me sitting in front of some raw COD gameplay, kind of speaking whatever's on the top of my mind. Uh, in this one, I'm going to start it off with the uh, microtransaction weapon of the day. We're going to be using the uh, the Damon submachine gun, charging in on launch the new DLC map, uh, as I should say, only new to Xbox. PlayStation, you guys got this about a week ago. This kind of brought back some memories to me, man, and wow, these people, man, absolutely blind. And I could tell immediately upon hopping on this map that this is a new experience for a lot of people who were playing this map. And it kind of made me remember, holy crap, Black Ops 1 is a pretty old game at this point. I mean, in two months from now, it's going to be nine years since the original Black Ops game came out. So that's nine years uh, of Little Timmy. I mean, most of the people who are playing this game nowadays are about Little Timmy's age of nine years old. So when we were sitting down in our Xbox 360s booting up uh, Black Ops 1 for the first time, Little Timmy was just being popped out. He was, you know, some of these Little Timmies were still in the womb, man. And that, that's crazy to think about. And actually around this point, I actually changed from my... Uh, my Damon 2 an assault rifle because I start noticing that these sweats are starting to become an Avengers level threat so I gotta start trying I gotta pull out my AR here uh, look around the angles and do those jump shots and all the all the fun stuff I normally do when I'm sweating my nuts off but th this was a fun experience to me and actually I'm gonna come around this corner and get one get two get three this, this genuinely was a fun experience to me going back to the roots of cod or I, I should tread lightly on that water when i say the roots of call of duty going back to the classic map structure and kind of the maps that i spent a majority of my childhood on really brought back a lot of fond memories i mean i completely remember the entire uh map structure of launch when i played it i was like oh crap this is a classic call of duty map this is true back to where I came from like OG COD map and I was excited to hop on this I was like man you know they only give you two multiplayer maps and expansions so I definitely should get my money's worth out of this I've already bought the Black Ops Pass which in my opinion was a phenomenal just terrible terrible experience I mean the Black Ops Pass was a failure in all regards and that, that's not Treyarch's fault at all uh, honestly I don't blame Treyarch for that they have way too much stuff to do I mean I probably would have appreciated if I was to- Oh, look at this. I don't know how I got out of that gunfight, by the way. That was that was just so meaty. And yeah, I still got the classic crappy spawns. That guy literally spawned right in front of me. But I'm, I'm still going on a tear in their spawn, man. Just absolutely annihilating them. But kind of going back to Treyarch, I really don't blame them in any capacity for the content delivery stream of this game. Yeah, it was bad. Most of it was remasters. And most of the time, by the time that I got around to playing these maps it just went out of relevancy for me even waiting a week uh kind of made a lot of these maps and a lot of these content drops irrelevant for me i really did try with zombies i tried with the first two maps they did a really good job with the voyage of despair and what they were doing with that whole extra storyline that uh they were trying out i don't know exactly what it was called some storyline chaos storyline i think is what it was called and i i dug it it was, it was all right especially that uh the map that they recently made it god we get this off the top of my head ancient evil that's that's the one it was ancient evil ancient evil was a pretty good zombies map i thoroughly enjoyed that and if they kept zombies going in that direction i don't know if they're going to reboot call of duty black ops next year but that's kind of what's going around the rumor mill if you guys don't know such hammer games in the rumor mill is not making call of duty 2020 and it's going back to the helm for treyarch so uh yeah that's highly concerning to me i don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off in two years. Uh, a lot of people are going to come back with me with the same argument, which I hear a lot, which is, oh, well, they made the older Call of Duty games in two years. Uh, they could most definitely do it again. All they have to do is just just make the game. It's really easy. You know, they don't have a hard job at all. They don't have to program things or hire more people and have a large team. Uh, are, are, are you guys are you guys that dense? Like, in all seriousness, do you think it's easy to make video games at any capacity? And actually, before I even ask that question, have you ever looked up a guide on how to make a video game? And have you ever looked up a documentary on these people making these video games? I can personally guarantee you that it does not take two years to make a complete game. I don't know about you guys, but there's only two ways I can see the next Call of Duty being successful. 
A, they just take what they did with Black Ops 3 and basically, or Black Ops 4, and make it Black Ops 5, technically, and just reuse all the assets and reuse a majority of Black Ops 4 for Black Ops 5. Or B, they just add a bunch of temporary positions to the studio and employ a crap ton of people full time to help them make the game in a smaller time window. I mean, I can personally tell you that making games is not easy. I know devs, and their jobs most definitely aren't easy, and these games are very tedious. The work in that goes into them is very tedious work. And I feel bad for Treyarch, and that's essentially the reason why Black Ops 4 is basically just Black Ops 3.5. It's a heavy remastered title. I mean, it's basically a mixture of Black Ops 2 and 3 to me, and the content stream for it has been absolutely nothing but remastered maps and remastered everything. And the Zombies team has to be given extra credit in terms of that because the Zombies experiences were at least somewhat new and refreshing and I'm sure they only made those maps in three months apiece. So, you know, I'm going to tip my hat to the guys over at uh, Treyarch Zombies for concluding the Zombies storyline. Uh, nay, they probably could have made something a lot better if they had the time, but they did it. They, they did pull it off. But kind of like swinging back to the game. I'm kind of glad that they did bring back a lot of older Call of Duty maps, and I hope that Infinity Ward kind of follows in that footsteps, because launch is a lot of fun, and I had a lot of fun playing Firing Range and Jungle. A lot of these older Call of Duty maps, I really did have a blast playing, and it's because I, as you know, one of those people who've been playing COD since COD 4, COD 3, I miss those old maps. They bring back a lot of memories to me. Now, I understand that maybe it is time to move on to new projects, move on to new horizons, whatever it is, but the occasional remap map hasn't really hurt anyone and in black ops case it's kind of saved multiplayer for a lot of people so kind of to that end i do feel like black ops 4 kind of piggybacked a bit off of the hype for older call of duty maps but at least it kept the game semi alive for a majority of its life cycle so i definitely am really excited that we are at the end of the life cycle of black ops 4 it's been a hell of a year it's been an interesting year there's been a lot of ups and downs but I really do think that Modern Warfare is going to bring us something a lot better than this year. I mean, this was this was pretty bad in my opinion, so I'm excited to see what's coming up with Modern Warfare. So anyways guys, don't forget to leave a comment down below, leave a like on the video if you guys haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of Modern Warfare and what you guys think of the content delivery stream for Black Ops 4. It's kind of been more of a chill commentary, more lax commentary, so uh, let me know what you guys think about me doing more of these. Anyways guys, this has been Nick. Have a great day.